Hello, I'm Reverend Michael Mugford, and I'm in ministry at Coal Harbor Woodside United Church, and I'm pleased to offer this spiritual reflection for United Churches for Dartmouth today. So a couple of weeks ago at our 930 chapel service, <clears throat> I shared some thoughts from Pastor Nadia Bowles Weber, whose email uh, I get regularly. Uh, and she was talking about the story of Jesus walking on the water to meet the disciples in the boat that they're in as they're, as they're crossing the lake. Now, Peter sees Jesus and decides to ask if Jesus would call him out of the boat. And so Jesus says, come. And Peter steps out of the boat and he begins to walk on the water, but he gets afraid and he starts to sink and, and Peter cries out and Jesus catches him and, and puts him back in the boat. The story is one that raises a myriad of questions in me, and I found in her blog that Nadia Bolds Weber touches on a couple of them in a very real way for me. She openly states that she gets tired of sermons on that passage that at best encourage and at worst require uh, something of us and our faith to step out of the boat in order to demonstrate our real faith, what real faith looks like. And she also points out that nobody asked Peter to get out of the boat. Jesus didn't stop him. After all, Peter's a grown man. He asked a question, and he got out of the boat. And he ended up leaving rescuing. But why would Peter put himself in this danger, this foolhardy test? Did he do it for himself? Did he do it for Jesus? Did he do it for the other disciples? Whatever the reason we know that it it doesn't work out well for Peter. I love what Nadia has to say next. She says, when in doubt, don't try to do what Jesus would do. Try and remember what Jesus did. And that struck a chord with me. Too often, we try to be someone we're not. God does not ask us to be Jesus. God calls us to be ourselves. Not merely ourselves, but to be our better selves each and every day. Jesus did not ask Peter to prove his faith or his worthiness or anything else. Peter asked Jesus to call him, and Jesus did. But I don't think it meant that Peter was supposed to get out of the boat and purposefully put himself in danger. Peter's faith was not demonstrated by the few faltering steps that he took on top of the water. It was demonstrated when he knew that he was in enough trouble that he needed help. And his faith led him to know and to understand that he could call on Jesus and Jesus would be there. And I think that's the faith that we're called to as well. Faith that reminds us that God is there when we feel like we're sinking. The hand of God holds us and steadies us. And the voice of Christ says, I am with you. Just some thoughts for today. Peace.